Kisumu Senator Professor Anyang Nyong'o is back to his teaching profession after more than two decades. The political science professor found himself an enemy of the system when he and other academics joined the push for multipartism and the demands for a new constitution. KTN's Sharon Momani attended Nyong'o's lecture at the university. And in one fifth floor office, a lecturer is also getting ready for his class. The lecturer, none other than Kisumu Senator Professor Anyang Nyongo. East Africa. Professor Nyongo has resumed lecturing, having taught political science at the school over 20 years ago. It feels good, it's home. <laughs> Uh, I think I like it. One would wonder, after spending more than two decades out of the teaching profession and in active politics, why go back to class now? If you're an academic, uh, you should keep, keep, keep your, uh, your mind occupied with academic work. Uh, it's not strange, really. In, in, in the U.S., people do it a lot. You have senators, congressmen you know, teaching at areas of their, in areas of their competence. Wanted a collective approach. He is not quitting politics just yet. The former Minister of Planning and Medical Services has published several books and articles on democracy, democratization, the state, and politics of development in Africa. It is this thirst for democracy, he says, that spurred him into active politics. It was our responsibility, really because we had uh, written about this, we had talked about this, we had suffered for it, and we felt that uh, we should now translate what we had been uh, struggling for into practice. His is a small class of about 20 students. The course he is currently teaching is Inter-African Relations, part of the Graduate International Relations Program at the University of Nairobi. For Enoch Omondi, one of Nyongo's students, being taught by the senator has tremendous sparks. Taking us through the uh, inter African relations is an area where he's so much qualified. He so much has a very, very large experience in inter African relations, having worked in different consultancies all over Africa. It's affecting Ethiopia, it's affecting Kenya. A renowned scholar, Professor Nyongo has previously taught at the University of Nairobi, El Colegio de Mexico, and Addis Ababa University, later joining the African Academy of Sciences as the head of programs from 1987 to 1992. He has been recognized for his contribution to scholarship and democratization, receiving a German African Award in 1995. Now back in class and having to serve both the country and the classroom, don't these two contexts run in parallel, I ask? A lot of things that we, we do in parliament are relevant to, to students, especially graduate students, because you will be teaching them from the practical point of view. He manages to separate his political uh, clout when he comes to class and is an amazing lecturer. Though exiting his position as the Secretary General for the ODM party, Nyongo says his political career continues. With imparting knowledge a demonstrated passion, this he has to do while sparing a hand for the blackboard. Sharon Momani, KTN.